We're going nuts with Chef Matt Dean Pettit in our City Line Samsung Kitchen today. So uh, nuts are my favorite. Like MDP, you're here to get us ready for holiday party season. Yes. You've got this really special nut mix, right? I do. You know what? It's festive time. Here we go. Yeah. The holidays are upon us. I love the holidays, Trace. You know this. So do I. Yes. And I love that we can actually finally get together. And this is going to be a big get together for a lot That's of people. Right. Maybe our first get together in a while. In a couple it's been years a while. almost. It's been a while. Yes. It's been a while. So we're back. And you know what? This recipe is fun. So it's a holiday mix nut bar where essentially it's a do-it-yourself action. Love so that. So perfect for either friends, family, a little get-together of people. Yeah. So again, you can see that we've got a topping bar here I'll lay it mm. out. I've got you set up with your own creation, so I want you to have some fun. But first, let's jump over to mine here. Yes. So I've set the oven to 325 because we're going to roast all of our nuts. Yeah. So starting off, I've got a little bit of hulled pistachios. Lovely. So again, we're we're healthy. Let's tell like let's tell the world. Our well, city line fam knows this. sometimes healthy. So we're doing a bit of both. A we're going to we're starting with some healthy, you know, proteins here mm -hmm. in our nuts, but we're going to have and they're good fats. I'm using pistachios. Oh my god, they're amazing fats. So they're amazing. You know, especially for folks that aren't getting like meat sources of protein. 100%. You need to have a lot of nuts and legumes in your in your diet. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so, again, it is the holidays, so, you know, I'm going to add a little bit of sweetness to mine, and have I think fun. you might too. Have some fun. Yeah. So, pistachios in, I've got about a half a cup. Yeah. I'm going to do dry roasted, unsalted almonds in there as well. Yum. Again, the nice thing is, you know, if you're doing this in, at home, pick the kind of stuff that if you don't want pistachios, maybe you want pecans, yeah. maybe you want walnuts, whatever it might be, right? Okay. So, I've got, we want to create a bit of a sauce. So, in a mixing bowl, I've got uh, two tablespoons of butter. Yum. Okay. So this is where we get a little action. This is it's going to create that little base. Yeah. A good amount of little kosher sea salt. And again, this is something that people can choose. This is my particular flavor. Yeah. This is going to be, and we're going to try it after. It's a little bit of a sweet heat. Maddie's like, you know, nice. seasonal mix here. What's that? This is cayenne. Okay. And I'm putting a whack load in. Okay, I like you good? it. Are you good with the cayenne? Yeah, I'm okay. fine with it. Maple syrup. So we have the sweet. I'm even better with and the maple the heat, syrup. Right. Yep. A little bit of bourbon, so let's kick okay. it up a notch. It's the holiday time, Tracy. Boozy. Let's go. I want boozy a little bit of boozy mix. party. Yeah. I want a little bit. The boozy parties make a good time, right? Yeah, they do. So that's good. Uh, I want a little bit of freshness. I want some sweetness. I've got some dried uh, cranberries in here. Nice. And just a little bit of nutmeg. You can either use a fresh nutmeg and yeah. grate it. I've got powder form here. Super simple. And again, now picture this, Tracy. We've got all these ingredients laid out. Mm -hmm. The kids have their own bowls, and yep. they're picking their own toppings, starting with the nuts as the base yes. and choosing. So because, you know, when you go somewhere, like somebody has like random nuts sort of sit in a bowl, and you're like, one, I don't know how long they've been there. <laughs> <laughs> Two, whose are they? How did they make them? I want to make my own. I think it's nice also. Number one, it's always nice to have a personalized anything. Yes. But especially now, if people are trying to keep it a little bit safe, uh, safer, I think it's nice that you can prepare your That's own. Right. That's your right. Your own little thing at your, like, it's a nut grazing bar, which is nice. So it's can a nut I grazing make mine? Bar. You can, please. So, so you've got, got you a whole bunch up. of great stuff for me. Yes. I've also got the roasted uh, almonds, you which do? I love, even just plain. Me too. Pecans. Pecans. Thank you, sir. I, I love, love how you say it too. You say pecans. Some people say pecan. Pecans. Yeah, but you say it properly, I think. Uh, I don't oh, know. Okay, well, thank you. Yeah, no, no, for sure. I was going to judge you on how you were going to say okay, it. Good. Pecans. Just telling you. Just telling you. I did you. some melted butter, you some did? maple stir syrup, because yep. I like the sweet. You too. You I didn't too. really put any. I'm going to put a little bit of salt. But Important, that's about though. As... It's going to balance out, oh, right? It? Yeah, okay, it's good. Right. Good kosher salt. Look at the flakiness of it. Because I would have gone with just sweets and the chocolate chips. Yes. And yeah, yeah, the whole thing. She's going right in. I love that. She's diving right in. Um, and Quick I feel like mix. that's all I need. You've got sweet. You've got a little bit of that saltiness in there. You're going to have that crunch. She's going Just right joking. in. So we'll put this to bay. This is Tracy's side. Oh. This is MVP's side. Oh, my side is good. Right? MVP. Uh, well, uh, they look pretty good. Look at their nice little coverage here. Look They're at this very little. Nice. So I'm going to pop this into the oven here. Uh, and I want to keep rotating them every 10 minutes. I want to sort of spoon them over okay. for about 35 minutes, 35 to 40. Got so, it. So every 10 minutes you're going in. So about I'm three times in. during the time they're a in there, exactly. you're giving them a little mixy mix. And if you can see here, let me just show you. So again, power of TV. These yeah. are mine. Those are yours. Look at that chocolatey little butter goodness on that. And oh, if you can see good. here too, you've got that beautiful miner, that buttery, beautiful pecan. And I'm going to show you a little something just it before we go. But really we've good. got, I want to do one more. One All more right, quick sure. one for us here. So it's a holiday time. Let's get crazy. Marshmallows. Why not? Why not? That's good. Don't this. go too oh, crazy. Oh. Candy okay. canes. Cross candy cane. That's right. Little peppermint. I'm gonna go mm -hmm. pecans. Yeah. We can go some pistache. Nice. And I want you to what put in this? that is vanilla syrup. Just dump the whole thing, Trace. Amazing oh also my in gosh. coffee. That's vanilla syrup amazing. if you can find it. 
Just a little pinch of cinnamon That's a real sugar. Deal right Thank there. you. There's a real deal. Rosemary, would you ever put rosemary? Something savory. No. No, what well, we are. Okay. And I've combined <laughs> it with some salt. So we're doing a rosemary salt. Yeah. Please give that a quick little spoon. All right. And I'm going to show you what this all looks like. This looks amazing, and I feel like, you know, the kids would really appreciate this because of the marshmallows in there. Really good. Roast Whose it is off. This, this is mine? So this is the specialty one that we just did. Uh -huh. You could also, that's, look at that little crunch. Oh, very good. So see how the candy canes sort of sort of blend in mm. and ro roast down and just sort of come together? Mm -hmm. Here's yours. Can I do a little something extra for you? Mm -hmm. It is the holidays. Can we just garnish with Get a little extra, bit of shredded, shredded coconut? So we've got our bar all set up. That is you. This is Isn't me. That pretty? What about sprinkles on top, even if you wanted? You go for that. And right? I'm going to tell Thank them you. how they can uh, find all of this good stuff. We're putting the recipes, of course, online. His recipe and his topping ideas at CityLine.tv. It looks beautiful. And Thank remember, you. if you ever have a question for one of our chefs or any of our experts, email us at submissions at CityLine.tv or scan that QR code on your screen right now because we love to help you. That's why we're